made possible by Jebco Construction Companies. Hey everybody, welcome to the Talking Glass Media Studios here at SignalsAZ.com. I'm alongside Bratcher Mountain High School Athletic Director Tony Miller. And Tony, we are here to talk about the Bear Dash for the Prescott Valley Days. Absolutely. We are excited for the second year in a row the Bear Dash is coming back. It's a 5K. It'll be on May 11th. Um, that's a Saturday following the PV Days Parade. Perfect. So uh, all kinds of different age groups can participate in this just like last year, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a competitive division for adults. Um, they can compete. They pay. There is a registration fee at runsignup.com. But we also have divisions for our students because our students are our priority. So we will have a high school division, a middle school division, an elementary division. And then there's actually a division for people that just want to walk the race course as well. Excellent. So last year, there was a lot of cool things around this race. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Is the band going to make an appearance again this year? A absolutely. The band's coming back. They're going to be playing at the finish line. We are excited about that. Everybody really loved the band being there. Our cheerleaders will be part of the finish line as well. They will hold the streamers. They will be the actual finish line. And then culminating the race, we went a step further. We spoke with the Special Olympics. We got their first, second, and third place podium uh, donated to us. And so we're going to actually be able to award people medals on a podium, which is significant when you run a race. And from there, um, the backdrop for that, similar to your backdrop, uh, Jimmy Johns has agreed to help sponsor the race, and that'll be the backdrop for our awards podium. Perfect. So, uh, and it's not just the race this year as well. You guys are doing other events inside of the Prescott Valley Days. Yeah, we're super excited about that. Um, I got fortunate enough um, to take over the dunk tank this year. And I say fortunate, and I probably don't mean that uh, as much as I should. Um, Stuco, our student government um, students, will be running the event. It's $1. They get to throw, make three throws. Um, and yours truly will be the first one in the dunk tank, so that's why I say, yeah, it may or may not be fortunate, but Mr. Miner will be in there, our principal. Mr. Bradshaw, our assistant principal, will be in there. Uh, Cole Young, our assistant superintendent, will be in the dunk tank, and I'm sure a few others, so that's a great way. It's a fundraiser for our school. Um, PB Days organizers are allowing that to be a fundraiser for our student government department. Awesome. So is there anything else you'd like to add? A really cool event uh, coming up here in May in uh, Prescott Valley. I, I can say this. The PV Days events that they have planned over those four days starting on the 9th, it should be incredibly fun this year. It is family friendly. They have events um, all through the weekend. So bring your families out. Have some fun. Um, I know our school is honored to be such a big part of these events. So come out, support the kids, support the community, and it should be a great weekend. Perfect. Thanks so much for joining us, Tony. We'll see you out there in May and, of course, uh, the rest of the season at the fields this year for Bradshaw Mountain High School Athletics. Thanks for joining us here at the uh, Talking Glass Media Studios at SignalsAZ.com. Keep it locked on SignalsAZ.com for all your news, entertainment, sports, and events. Made possible by Jebco Construction Companies.